I'm gonna go sub new. Yeah, sub new. Oh. And this is just to declare the font, so I don't have to keep keep like declaring it and stuff. Because I'm gonna be using Sego UI. I think that's how it's pronounced. And I'm gonna have it as a size of 12. So font equals new font Sego UI. Then as 12. That's all I'm doing for here. <laughs> now we can get to the actual GDI part. And actually making the form correct okay so I'm going to do protected overrides <coughs> sub on paint this handles the on paint command <coughs> okay um so I'm just gonna do using G as E equals E dot graphics this is just so um, I don't have to dispose of it later. It does it itself what it's done the using. Okay, I'm gonna do G dot clear um, color dot from RGB. Um, let's do like 62, 62, 66. Let's see. I want to have it dark on the outside and um, light on the inside. Let's see. That um, mm, bit darker. So I'll probably do. No, 32, 32, 36. See if that's better. And that's more the style I'm going for. Then um, okay. Now that that's done, we can do. <coughs> um G dot fill rectangle um new solid brush because um the brush that we're using is gonna be a custom um our G B value so we need to make a new brush then do color dot from our G B <coughs> um let's do something like two thirty to 30 to 30 and I'm just go uh, then comma new rectangle then do the location so I want to have the header as 38 pixels and um, the borders of it gonna be 9 that's like the default Windows 8 um, so yeah, I'm just going off that nice and simple for today <coughs> um, so I'm gonna have nine and thirty eight that's where the rectangle is going to start <coughs> now the width of it is going to be width take away eighteen <coughs> and um and the height is going to be um because I want to have nine at the bottom is thirty eight up the top so I'm going to have to do a height take away um forty seven yeah um let's see yeah as you can see looks like looks pretty good okay now <coughs> once that because that's done I want to make text because I'm make basing it off Windows 8 um <coughs> I'm going to have to make the text centered so to make it easier I'm gonna um make make a function for it so I'm just gonna do module function um if I make any functions later on in the theme or well you do um you can just put them in here so that means all the classes can access it so what I'm gonna create is um new function called center text and I'm gonna do text uh, text as string font as font width as integer and height as integer I'm gonna have it as point okay so first we wanna do dim w as integer 
equals um, width divided by 2 take away um, text renderer dot um, measure text um, so text gonna be text then font and then um dot width divided by two and then I'm um, gonna do dim h as integer equals height divided by two take away text renderer dot measure text text um font and we're gonna do height instead so it's not the width of the text it's a height divided by two then once that's done I'm gonna do dim p as new point w and h and then return p sorry about the noise if you can hear that it's my brother watching the new transformers movie so i apologize for that okay now what we want to do is g dot um draw string um s is string so just going to do find form dot text that just gets a form text um font because up here we declared the font as there so we don't have to make a new font then um just do a new solid brush because we want to match the container like inside um color dot from rgb 230 230 230 now we're gonna want um new um so center text we don't have to declare it as a point because it's already um so find form dot text font width and we want to do um move height because that's we don't have to do the height of it because we just want it in the middle of the um header so if all works out it should work so build the solution as you can see it's pretty much in the center yeah that's the um theme pretty much done you can add an icon but um with my themes i just don't like like them that much um, but you can mother mother martin's tutorial shows you how to do that um and simple googling can do it too and yeah um that's how you make a um theme in visual basic i might go over the other controls in a later tutorial um if i can be bothered and like if i remember but yeah, that's how to make a basic theme. You can always use a um Aaron Hacks function um for rounded corners. Um you just have to search out and search how to use it, it's pretty simple. And you can use gradients and everything. It's pretty simple to use. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please leave feedback and stuff. And yeah. I hope to see more themes being completed in the VV.next section. Okay, I've got